AI is the new kid on the block and it's set to speed up WordPress development, but can it do it right? That's what this video is all about, so let's put it to the test. My name's Elliot Richmond, I like to play guitar, eat pizza and drink coffee. I also make videos for YouTube based on WordPress and WordPress development. So if this is up your street, do consider subscribing. And if you like this video at the end, please do give it a thumbs up. So I first came across Cursor AI a few months ago, but I didn't really give it much attention at the time. I just assumed it was another code editor. However, after watching a video by Nick Diego on the WordPress.com YouTube channel, I decided to revisit it. So Nick highlighted how you can add cursor rules and documents to provide more context for AI generated code, which kind of intrigued me. So as developers do in the middle of a big project, I decided to swap from using VS Code to Cursor AI and give it another shot. But before we dive in, I want to stress the importance of critically reviewing any AI generated code. You need to ensure that it meets quality, security and maintainability standards. So in this video, what we're going to do is we're going to create a custom WordPress block and test how Cursor AI performs, both with context and without context. So I have a basic design here, a typical website layout with a hero image, some informative text and three call to actions. This just uses the WordPress default 2025 theme and the typography is nice and the layout is okay, but these panels are not very inspiring. Now sure, I can add images using the image block, but I wanted to create an icon block instead. One that allows me to reuse icons and build an icon suite, if you like. Ideally, I wanted to place an icon at the top of each call to action panel with the ability to adjust alignment, padding and color and SVG seem like the best option for me. But since WordPress doesn't provide a built-in solution for this, we'll need to create a custom block. So let's test Cursor AI without any context. So we'll dive into Cursor AI. Here's my standard installation. You'll notice the chat facility at the top right, and we can switch between chat and composer. And there's also an option to add context. For now, I'm gonna go straight into the composer and ask Cursor AI to create a custom WordPress block that lets users insert icons without providing any additional context. So let's see what happens. Cursor starts to generate the block, but immediately I can see some issues. The block files are in the wrong folder, they're in the root. There's no package.json file, which means I won't have a proper build process, and the files aren't set up in a plugin. So again, it wouldn't work as expected in WordPress. So right off the bat, this isn't very useful. I could manually fix the structure and add a build process and configure WordPress scripts, but that would defeat the purpose of using AI to streamline my development. Now let's inspect some of the generated code. So the block.json structure looks okay. It's included attributes for the icon, color and size, which we can build upon. And the index.js file pulls in block components, sets up the inspector panel for customization, and provides a basic editor interface. Now the icons seem to come from the WordPress icons package, which is fine, but I wasn't sure what they looked like until I checked out the documentation. So I don't think that's the right implementation, not for my needs anyway. So what are the takeaways? So without clear instructions, the AI generated code is basic and flawed. While it provides me a starting point, it's not structured very well or well enough to be directly usable. Now, if you're unfamiliar with creating custom blocks or how custom blocks work, you might struggle to fix these issues. So since the initial results wasn't great, let's try again, this time with proper context. But first, I'll reset the session and remove all the incorrect files. But this time we're gonna add more context to improve the AI generated code. So the first step is to introduce cursor rules, which acts as a structured guideline for the AI. Essentially, these rules help the language model understand the context of your application, ensuring better code generation. A cursor allows you to use preset rules or define your own. To access the preset ones, you can visit cursor.directory, where developers have already set up various implementations. Now, Nick Diego has already explored this in detail, so if you want to check out his video, I'll leave a link in the description below. But for this project, I found two general rules for WordPress that are nearly identical. So I'm just gonna copy the first one. And there's a third rule which is more focused on WooCommerce. So if you're working with WooCommerce, you might wanna use that one instead. Now going back to Cursor, I'll create a new file in the root folder called .cursor rules. Now this file acts as the interpreter for the AI, guiding it on best practices, coding standards, 
and the structure of a WordPress plugin or custom code that you want to create. Now, large language models function as brains and the cursor rules serve as a detailed prompt that helps the AI interpret instructions more accurately. Unlike an agent that continually adapts and saves context, these rules serve as predefined instructions that shape how the AI code is generated. Now, before I ask AI to generate my WordPress block, I need to ensure that my plugin structure is correctly set up. So in my terminal, first, I'm gonna check which node version I'm running, and I can do that by running NVM list. And since I know that node 20.10 is the latest recommended version for block development, I'll switch to that by doing nvm use 20.10. And to confirm the change, I'll just run nvm list. And as we can see, node 20.10 is being used. Now I need to pull in the create block package to scaffold my WordPress block plugin. Now since I can never remember the exact command, I'm gonna reference the npm WordPress scripts documentation. And the command I need is mpx at WordPress forward slash create block. And I'm gonna call this custom icon block. But before we run it, I need to ensure that I'm in the correct directory. So I'm gonna use pwd, which is print working directory. And it confirms that I'm in my site's root folder. So I need to navigate to the plugins folder. So all I'm gonna do is cd, I'm just gonna drag the folder into my terminal. And if I hit enter, that will put me into the plugins folder. Now I can run the command again to scaffold the block. So run npx at WordPress forward slash create block custom icon block. This generates the plugin structure, ensuring that everything is properly set up. This structured setup will now serve as context for AI when generating the custom block. So now the plugin structure is ready, I can return back to chat and I'll start a new chat session. But first, add context by dragging the custom icon block folder into the chat window. Then I'll provide a detailed prompt. So I'm gonna put create a WordPress block that allows users to select icons dynamically following best practices. The block should be extendable, allowing new icons to be added over time. Must use SVG icons, must include alignment and color settings, and must include dimension settings. And this will be for padding and margin, etc. So submit the request and let AI process it. So Cursor AI begins to modify the existing files in my project. And if you're familiar with Git commits and modified files, it follows a Git-like approach, highlighting changes in green and removals in red. So it's updated the block.json file, now includes proper attributes for icon selection, spacing, and colors. If we check out the edit.js file, it imports the necessary WordPress components, it's adding block controls for alignment and inspector controls, and these will be used in the sidebar settings. And there's a select control for choosing icons dynamically, and it's also updated the icons.js file, or it's added one at least. So the icons are defined as SVGs, which is what I've asked for, which is perfect. Everything is looking much better, and the structure is now as I expected. So the AI generated code is more aligned with best practices because it had more context to work with, essentially. So with the generated code looking more solid, uh, I'll accept the AI generated changes and proceed to test with it. So I can go back to my terminal and now I can hit npm start. I can either copy that out from the instructions or type it in, whatever you want. And this will start to compile my block files. So with everything built, I'm gonna go back to the WordPress dashboard and navigate to my plugins and activate my plugin. So I can see my plugin is there, custom icon block. So activate that. Then I can go back to my page where I've got my layout and in the block editor above the heading, I'm gonna type forward slash icon and there's my custom icon block. And the block loads with default icons that are in the icon.js file, which is star, heart and check and I can successfully change the color and adjust any alignment, which is perfect. Now the default blue background is coming from the create block package and I need to remove that. So I can quickly update the CSS file to do that and then refresh the page. And everything works as expected, perfect. And now let's just try and expand the icon library. So to test the AI ability to extend the functionality, I'm gonna request in plain text, can you now add a location icon to the suite of icons? So cursor has gone and updated the icons.js file with a new location icon. And that looks good, so I'll accept the changes and let the block rebuild. 
because we've already got npm start running and I can go back to the editor and refresh the page and as if like magic the new icon appears perfect so here are my final thoughts on AI's role in WordPress development so this experiment shows that providing AI with structured context significantly improves code generation and the key takeaways here are without context AI produces basic often flawed results However, with context, AI can generate cleaner, more structured, and more maintainable code. And providing predefined plugins like using the create block package also helps AI enhance the existing code rather than generating everything from scratch. So to me, AI best works when treating it as a collaborator, not a replacement. And while AI boosts productivity, critical thinking is still essential. And you should always review and refine and validate any AI generated code. So what next? Well, would you trust AI to generate your WordPress plugin? Let me know in the comments. So I'm really excited to keep using Cursor AI for my e existing projects and new projects moving forward. Especially, I'm interested in using it to review and refactor old code. I think that's gonna be really interesting to look at. So if you haven't tried it yourself, do try Cursor AI because it is absolutely mind blowing. Every time I use it and interact with it, it just, I'm blown away, honestly. So for now, thanks for watching. If you like what you see, do give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please do consider subscribing. And until next time, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.